weekly routine, February 12th, 2018. If you're new to the site, check out the overview video first, but let's get started. We're going to start with hip flexor with some upper body extension. So just a fancy way of doing a hip flexor stretch while reaching back. We'll get into the hip flexor stretch position. Make sure we're squeezing our glutes and then we'll shift forward, getting a good stretch on the hip flexor. Arms come overhead and then you're going to side bend and extend back. We're gonna get a really good stretch right through our hip flexor, our psoas. It's gonna feel so good. I will show it to you from the side. From here, glutes tight. Make sure we're not arching through the low back. Shift forward, arms come up, back, and side bend slightly. Let's do five on each side. Five on each side. Let's go to stretch number two. We're gonna do thread the needle. So we're gonna get on all fours, knees under hips, wrist under shoulders, and then one arm comes underneath and then you're gonna drop your shoulder to the ground. You can go ahead and bend this elbow if you want. You can also reach this out straight in front of you, but I'm gonna keep mine bent. And then we're going to hold this position for one minute. If it starts to get a little tight and uncomfortable, you can come right out of the stretch, but let's try to accumulate one minute on each side. That is a stretch number two, thread the needle, one minute hold on each side. Stretch number three, we're going to do a side stretch seated. I'm gonna cross my legs, place one arm bent at the elbow, and then other arm comes overhead, and then you'll side bend until your forearm is flush to the ground. If you're a little tight, you can go ahead and just prop your hand up and just go over, but I'm gonna bend my elbow and reach across. We're gonna do one minute here as well. One minute hold. Stretch number three, side stretch seated. You'll get a good stretch right in the QL. You can also get an awesome stretch up in the lat, so the whole side of the body. Now let's go to stretch number four, and it's gonna be 90-90 hamstring stretch. So you'll lay on your back, one leg will be straight, one leg will be bent at the knee, knees right over the hip, hence the 90 and then 90 degrees that we create with our hip and our knee. And then place your hand right on the back of your hamstring, nice and light, don't pull. And then from here you'll extend up into an extended knee position. If you're a little tight, this could be a little tough, so you can always just back off and bring the knee further away from you and work that position just so it's a little bit more comfortable. Let's start with 10 reps on each side. A couple little tips here. If you start feeling kind of a nervy pain or nervy feeling, what you can do is point your toe away from you while you do this position. Sometimes there's tension along the nerve, and if your toes are pointing towards you, you can feel that nerve tension. But let's do 10 reps on each side there, and that are the four stretches that you're gonna do for this weekly routine. But always, we're gonna hit our stability exercise, and we're gonna go with a basic plank exercise on this one. And instead of holding it for a certain amount of time, what we're gonna concentrate on is really controlling our breathing. So I want you to take 10 big breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, while you're in a perfect plank position. So it's nice and controlled. So I don't want you holding your breath. This is gonna help kind of keep you calm and also concentrate on those muscles that really need to work and you're not uh, kind of clenching, just trying to get through it. So basic plank position. You can do it on the knees, you can do it on your forearms. Big thing I don't wanna see is butt up, hunched, uh, sorry, arch low back. So keep that tucked, quads tight, butt tight. And then from here, you're gonna take big breath in through the nose, make that belly big, and then breathe out again while not arching 
the back. And it gets a lot tougher when you start concentrating on your breathing and you really make your core work instead of really tightening up. So what we're gonna do there is 10 breaths during that plank and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, 10 breaths there on that plank. Again, get into that good position, really maintain those positions while you're breathing. When you're exhaling, it can get a little tough if you're in a good position. So that is it for the weekly stretch routine. This week, four stretches, then one stability exercise. Make sure you're doing this every single day until next Monday, and I will see you guys then.